So we're on, down on the Flurio Peninsula. Veggie growers down this way are lettuce growing, broccolini, Brussels sprouts, carrots. So I've had people that have noticed an issue and then we've gone, oh, let's do a test and find out what the, if we've got nematode issues. And then I've had other people who are well aware of it. The test involves lots of walking and <laughs> lots of collecting soil. So they, you know, the recommendation is 20 to 30 samples over a hectare. Because nematodes can be very patchy, you need to test as much of the area as you can. And we send that through to Sardi and they can then test and tell us what nematodes we've got and what levels there are. You are pretty limited. All they can really do is a nematicide, but they have to put plastic over it to keep it in and the growers potentially don't have the time to do that. But, you know, they'll kill nematodes, but they also kill, you know, everything. The mop soil, all the biology in the soil gets killed as well. It's a bit like nuking it. Yeah, you're just wiping everything out and, you know, and then you've got to wait for that to come back. Uh, you can leave it fallow for, you know, up sort of six months, but that does reduce the population, but it won't get rid of them. Products like Celebro sounds like a game changer. It's a lot, lot safer. You don't have to worry about all the workers and people won't have to have you know, a license to be able to purchase it and use it. So yeah, there'll be a number of different options to put Celebro out, which you know, make it simpler and you don't have to have you know, specialised equipment to do it. And you're not gonna be wiping out the beneficials as well. You're leaving your soil biology there, the good stuff that you want, and yeah, it'll make a big difference.